everyone, welcome back to ShareSide channel. Today we will introduce performance report. This is one of the popular reports among ShareSide user base. This video will go through how you can use this report to get a better understanding of your portfolio performance. Before we begin, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on social media at ShareSite so you won't miss out any announcement on product updates. Now, let's get into it. To run this report, visit the Reports tab and under the Performance Insights section, you will find the Performance Report. Click Run Report. Once you have the report, you will be given the following options to select the time period. Choose a grouping, graph type, and apply a filter via your labels. For selecting time period, you can define a custom date range or choose one of the predetermined time periods, such as showing your performance in the last financial year. There are a number of default groupings ShareSite provides, or you can run this report using your own custom groups. Applying labels as filters gives another layer of customization to this report, which can provide a more insightful presentation of your data. For the graph type, you have the option to choose a percentage gain graph, which is for comparing the holdings in percentage gains. The other type is a benchmarked graph, which allows you to compare gains to a benchmark. You can also choose to hide the graph. The report can be shown either open positions only or both open and closed positions. Opting to fill the performance report with the open and closed positions will illustrate the impact of holdings that have been completely sold out on your performance. After you have entered the date, the grouping, the labels, the graph type, and the position you prefer, then you can click Run Report. For this example, I will show you the last financial year. Apply no groupings and labels and select the percentage gain graph type. You can see a tree map appears. The tree map is a visualization tool that makes it easier for you to understand how a portfolio has performed over a time period. The size of the tree map represents the total portfolio value. Holdings in the tree map are organized in descending order from left to right top to bottom, based on the respective holdings market value without any grouping settings applied. When a grouping is applied to the report, for example, I'll apply market grouping to this report. Each category is organized in the same hierarchy. This is also the same for holdings nest within each category. When you hover over each rectangle, you will be able to see the value and the percentage gain of either the individual holding or the selected grouping. Clicking on any grouping on the tree map allows you to zoom in on that grouping for you to have a better feel of nested holdings within that grouping. You can simply click total value on the left hand corner of the tree map to zoom out. Another element to understand is the size of each rectangle which is proportional to the value it represents relative to the total size of tree map. This means holdings with larger market value are represented by larger rectangles. For example, if a holding makes up 20% of the portfolio, the size of the rectangle will take up 20% of the tree map total size. This also applies to groupings where large industries, markets, or sectors are represented by larger rectangles. As for each color of the rectangle, it represents the total return percentage change. Green denotes positive return, red denotes negative return, whereas gray denotes little to no change. The shade of green or red represent the magnitude of the return. A darker green has a higher percentage return than a lighter green, vice versa for red. Now we can take a closer look at the investment performance for that period in the table below showing components such as the price, quantity, and value and further breaking down your investment returns into capital gains, dividends, and currency gains. You also have the option to run the report showing monetary or percentage gains by clicking the toggle. You can use the performance report to get a snapshot of your portfolio valuation by simply selecting a custom or predetermined Determined date range. Once you have run the report in the time period you selected, under the value column, you will find the total portfolio value. 
Running the performance report to capture your portfolio value can be used in many ways. For example, you can generate your portfolio valuation for tax reporting purposes if you're an Australian investor managing an SMSF. You can also set up a benchmark on your performance report. The benchmark feature enables you to select any listed ETF, unit trust, managed fund or ordinary share investment in the share site database to compare against your portfolio. Simply change the graph type from percentage gain to benchmarked. If you haven't added a benchmark to your holding, you'll be prompted to add a benchmark. Click Add a benchmark and select the instrument that you want to set as a benchmark against your portfolio. You'll be able to see the tree map with the benchmark. You can hover over each rectangle to see the value, percentage gain, and status if it is beating the benchmark or not. If the holding is beating the benchmark, the rectangle of the holding will be in green color and have a check mark icon next to the holding name, while the holding that is underperforming the benchmark will be presented in gray color. You can freely share this report to family members, friends, or finance professionals such as accountants or financial advisors by simply exporting this report as a PDF, Excel spreadsheet, or a Google Sheet. The performance report allows you to have a clearer picture of your portfolio performance over a selected time period. It can help you make a more informed decisions around your investments. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or ask us through our website. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!